Hydropower is a clean, renewable energy source. Uh, the designs are robust, they'll last a long time, so it's clean, renewable energy for generations to come. The four AMP projects are located along the Ohio River, starting upstream in West Virginia with the Willow Island project, followed by the Meldahl project, Canelton project, and Smithland project, which are all located in Kentucky. The unique design on this project, of course, is since it's a run-of-the-river project, it's a horizontal unit rather than a vertical unit, which most people um, equate with hydropower. We're dealing with a horizontal unit with approximately 20 feet of head difference between the upper pool and the lower pool. Uh, all these facilities here along the Ohio River, the locks and dams were built in the 60s with the eventual plan to basically build horizontal unit hydro plants, and that is where we're here today. During construction, we had up to 450 workers out on the site, uh, working two shifts, 10 to 12 hour shifts, five to six days a week, so it was a full-time effort. These projects will uh, provide power to approximately 68 communities in four different states. Hydro is so attractive to the city because it is a renewable energy, which is part of our, one of our strategic objectives. We feel that it is a, is a big factor in attracting new customers to the city. These projects have been extremely rewarding. We've been involved from the very start helping AMP figure out how to contract them, how to minimize their risk and maximize their value through design where we really came up with the ideas on paper and had the great opportunity to watch these fabulous projects get built. Hydropower just makes sense. It's renewable and you get this sense that you are actually living by the company standards when you say you're building a better world we're actually building it. We're building a hydropower station. We're making renewable energy, and that's just fantastic. I'll be uh, very proud of the fact that we were able to build these projects and put them online for our communities and for our members.